Hey, it's Brock. How you doing? Hope you are well. Uh, I'm going to open something that I have not opened in a long time. I think since August of last year, sometime around there. And that is NerdBlock. I have not subscribed to NerdBlock in quite a few months. And I did this only this month for April. I only bought the April box because the theme of the box is Growing Up 80s. And they promised a Ghostbusters vinyl collectible. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in here. All I know, it's supposed to be 80s. And you guys know how I am about the 80s. I adore the 80s because that's my childhood. So I'm looking to crack it open. And we'll see what we've got in here this time. All right. You might recall I stopped subscribing to NerdBlock because, well, last time, and I've got two young children, they sent, last NerdBlock I got, they sent um, a uh, plush chlamydia, plush clap, um, <laughs> which I gave away as a, uh, as a dirty Santa gift over the holidays. Uh, I kind of didn't want my kids learning about STDs just yet. So, um, anyway, hopefully there's not one of those in here this time. <laughs> but uh, let's see what we've got in this month's Nerd Block. All right. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Shirt this month for uh, the April Nerd Block. I slapped the microphone, apologies. Okay, I dig this a lot. I like this a whole lot. Eighty eight miles per hour, a shirt featuring all three of the Back to the Future DeLoreans. You got part one, part two, and part three. I like that a lot. Make sure it's my size. It is. So hey. My one month back to Nerd Block, and I got a really cool shirt out of it that I will wear an awful lot. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Nerd Play collector's cards. I'm not familiar with Nerd Play because I have not kept up with Nerd Block. Um, however, 10 exclusive cosplay trading cards. So some. Semi-famous cosplayers, I assume. I see Yaya Han on the uh, on the front there. So let's open it up. Let's see who's in here. I have no idea. I didn't even know they were featuring regular Joes, regular cosplayers in their cards. But that's pretty cool. I, in fact, do dress up. I have a Mass Effect suit, plenty of Ghostbuster suits, um, a Seventh Doctor. And I'm working on um, something special that I can do with uh, my daughter. So we'll see. Okay, let's see who we've got. So we've got, there's Yaya, that's Snow White. Uh, Monica Lee as little sister. Very cool. And then, uh, interesting. Leanna Vamp as Daryl from The Walking Dead. Uh, Megan Marie, I do not know her. Syndra from League of Legends. Ashley Hay, I have no idea who Ashley Hay is, but Punk Rock Flash. Lisa Lou Who as a sorceress from Dragon's Crown. I have heard of her. Chaka Cumberbatch as Shredder, a gender bend. Not uh, familiar with her either. Uh, let's see, we've got Wind of the Stars as Jaina Solo. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay. And then another Monica Lee as Wonder Woman. And the one that I do know and have met personally is Nicole Marie Jean. She dresses Harley, and I actually got that picture from her um, as Harley because I am a Harley fanatic. Um, so uh, I have met her, Bo and I, 
um, met her at Dragon Con two or three years ago. And she was extremely nice. So, anyway, very cool. Glad to see, uh, glad to see some guys getting their, their good due. All right. And I have the Ghostbusters collectible in front of me. All right. We have a, uh, book. I really don't want to show you the name of it because it's not nice. It's another reason why I'm not crazy about this guy. Anyway, Kevin Smith. I have no, uh, apologies. If you're a Kevin Smith fan, I apologize. I've never really cared for him. He's always kind of crass, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, anyway, I may read that just to see. Well, I'm already seeing a lot of bad words in the book, so I may not read that after all. Personal preference. No haters. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We have a Pac-Man heat changing mug that is really really awesome so let's see if I can get it open really quickly show you the mug itself alright so it's the Pac-Man game board and it says when uh, you put heat anything heated in it that Pac-Man, the pellets, and the ghosts all show up. That's really cool. I like that. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to use that very soon. Okay, the reason I got this month's Nerd Block is in my hands. I was hoping for a vinyl figure from one of the Ghostbusters, but I will take this. It's a Ghostbusters Titans figure, and it's... <gasps> The Ecto-1. Very, very cool. I'm not sure I'm going to open this. I think I'm going to leave it in there. But there it is. The Ghostbusters Titans vinyl Ecto-1. That's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I thought it was going to be a figure, but I love Ecto. So there you go. That is April 2015 Nerd Block. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again very, very soon. I've got another subscription box coming in, uh, the Marvel Collector's Core. So I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, from what I understand, it's pretty hefty. So hopefully we'll get to that one in just a few days, and we'll do another one of these. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon.